an update on what's new in the DRR Rescue app for 2018. We made a complete update in content to the new Edition 5 field guide, which was released in late 2017. Edition 5 was closely keyed to the many changes in the 2017 update to the NFPA 1006 standard. All procedures are identified with an awareness, operational, or technician icon. And remember, level 1 and level 2 of nomenclature has been discontinued in the 2017 1006 standard. As always, each section begins with a command checklist, and at the top of each page is an interactive checklist for that section with elapsed time and prompts to assess your strategy. The video function has been improved on our end, making it much easier to post new videos, so keep an eye out for them, and if you save videos, they'll be available when there's no data connection. There were numerous small updates in the rope section, and a big update to the anchor section, so check that out. We're working on belay concepts, and in the guide we added the use of the ASAP at the anchor for up to 550 pound loads. The ASAP is a good, and probably more consistent, alternative to the tandem Prusik belay. A section on climbing rescues was added. It's a lot of info in five pages, and focuses on dual lanyard fall protection climbing. The outlined procedure works well, fits a wide range of circumstances. The use of the ASAP is central, as it's an efficient way to belay. We're working on some videos for these pages, so stay tuned. On the offset section, we added the two rope offset, which is shown on the cover of the manual. This is a great alternative to a high line, as it is simple and provides excellent protection when moving the load horizontally. High lines are much the same, except we show the use of force limiting for pretension of track lines. It's been proven that Prusiks don't provide force limiting appropriate for high lines, but they're still widely used and approved. Don't expect them to slip at the proper point if your system becomes overtensioned. Confined Space Rescue got a big update because NFPA 1006 made many changes to the Confined Space section. On page 101, there's a confined space timeline procedure outline for use of SCBA in confined space. This is a big change. An SCBA has never been prohibited by OSHA, but the fire service very much discouraged the use of SCBA in confined space rescue entries. The new procedure closely follows NFPA 1006 decision making for making confined space rescues with an SCBA. The victim must be visible, viable, and the entry must be made wearing an SCBA as it was intended to be worn by the manufacturer. A quick rescue with an SCBA makes sense in these very specific circumstances. Rescuers must follow best practice decision making for use of an SCBA. There's a pretty good flowchart to help with this to confirm your decisions on page 102. We removed the DBI Sela tripod but improved the illustration and procedures for the Skedco tripod. Tripods are basically interchangeable with these procedures, so whatever high directional or portable anchor you have should fit. This is a good point to bring up supplementary content. We include 20 pages of additional material, mostly confined space, that was produced for a special edition IAFF confined space rescue guide. There's some good th stuff there, so check it out. The water rescue section got six pages of powerboat operations with the help of the Indiana River Rescue School, plus some other nice updates. Trench was updated with the new procedures for lip bridge application, pneumatic shores, and we think we improved the whale illustration. The structural collapse and shoring section is a big challenge, as it's difficult to stay up with current standards on shoring. In general, we tightened up procedures for most timber shores and improved illustrations wherever possible. The calculators now have a feature to share the cut list by text or email, which is nice. The helicopter section has been updated with improved spotter hand signals and the use of the GAR risk assessment tool. In fact, the GAR tool is referenced in every command checklist as a suggested risk assessment tool. Okay, that's the update in a nutshell. Please enjoy and be safe.